One of my favorite episodes, I have to say, is one called The Bomb. Now, I don't want to say too much about it because it's on this volume you're going to be seeing. But it, to me, is just incredible. I, I'll give you just a capsule thing. Uh, Steve Canyon's flying, and for some reason he has to, he has this bomb. He has to let it go. It does. It doesn't explode because it hasn't been fixed yet to do it. Here's the real kicker. Some kids in a club find it, take it to their club, and it becomes like a trophy to them. Now this one kid starts playing with the propeller in the back. Well, that's a bad thing, because if he coils real fast, all of a sudden the bomb starts to do things and it will blow up. Now that's about all I'm going to say about it. I'll leave it up to the audience to look at it, but it is a great show, and, and it's suspenseful, and, and it's like it could happen. It re I mean, you hear about these duds hitting all the time, and sometimes they're not duds, you know. But to have these kids get it, and to them, geez, I, I would have done it. I mean, if it were me, I'd have had that thing in my museum already sitting around, you know. I'd have blown myself up by now, but I mean, still. But it, it's, it is a great show. I mean, all the shows are really good. That one sticks out in my mind, because it, I could have been there. I could have been one of the kids. about the nose fuse, the impact of its landing unarmed could have made it inoperable. Here's the nightmare. Now this one probably didn't get much more than scratched. Now in theory, as long as the wire's in place, it's safe as a church. You can bend it, bite it, kick it, nothing happens. Now the way it's designed, the wire comes out when it leaves the rack, the wind spins the propeller. It doesn't have to be the wind, you can do it by hand. After enough turns, what was that? What happened? It's the warnings built in for guys who handle these things on the ground. Well, it's armed now. It's ready. When a normal drop, the impact of the landing snaps the firing pin forward, and up she goes. Doesn't take much. Half pound thrust will do it. Half pound. About as much as you use to swat a fly. Like so. Now, if this was the bomb the Colonel put in the drop area this morning, we wouldn't be here now. Neither would the building. We'd better find that bomb. <laughs> There's a shack. My Raymond's in there. I'm going in after him. You can't stop me. I'll scream. Mr. Moore, will you please keep your wife quiet? Go, go. Last thing we need is a screaming panic on our hands. Marry you. Heard I'm you shut going to up. Raymond. Major, please. get him to cover. Keep him there. You heard the turn. Let Come on. Go. Let's move. This way. Come on. That shack looks awfully small. First rule when you're messing with bombs, don't jiggle anybody's elbow. Come on, Sergeant. Let's go. Thank you. 